Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Abby Ragsdale. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your KWHS News. College visits resume after spring break with a visit from Western State Colorado University on Tuesday, April 4th. If you signed up to visit with CSU Pueblo, remember they were scheduled for Thursday, April 6th. Seniors planning to attend Pikes Peak Community College mark April 4th on your calendars. That's when the PPCC reps will be here to help you complete your admission application. Keep in mind they will return on April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Get your hall passes from the counseling office to attend these college visits. And while you're there, check out important college related information such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention all students, the library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near. The last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 35 school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email, trujilloben2 at wsc3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions will not be included. The Madison March continues in the library. The tourney is now in the semifinal round. Come to the library after school and vote for the books that will duke it out after spring break. The grand prize is wide field gear and a Chick-fil-A gift card but you can't win if you don't play. Attention all students, the yearbook staff wants you to buy a yearbook while there's still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before the price goes up. Hey Elijah, I hear Miss Betsy is making a great lunch for us today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday everybody! Today's the last day before spring break. Come on down and see us in the kitchen we're having. Chicken tenders with mashed potatoes and gravy. I know you love it. Bye. Never great spring break. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account. Attention seniors, if you are taking credit recovery, you must complete your course by April 7th. The next credit recovery course is begin in June. Now I'm going to toss it over to Dylan with our sports update. Here, Dylan. Thanks, Elijah. Glads, we made it to Friday. I'm Dylan Hamm, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Attention all current and prospective volleyball players. Volleyball open gyms for all volleyball players not involved in spring sports will be Wednesdays from 3 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym, starting April 5th. Get ready to bump, set, and spike your way through next year's season. If you haven't set up your dodgeball team, there's still time. The tournament will be the week we return from spring break. The cost is $5 for a five-player team. That's $1 per player. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. See Miss Ship in room 202 to sign up. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. At 7 p.m., a high school team of WHS and Mesa students take on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2, but wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each or 15 tickets for $20. See Deputy Stevens for additional information. Gladiator Baseball has some games on their schedule over spring break starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Big Blue against Gateway High School. They are also on the diamond against Golden at 11 a.m. at home on Wednesday. Go out and support your Gladiator Baseball team. The track team is at the Terror Invitational on Saturday at 9 a.m. Good luck to all of our teams this weekend and into spring break. Our sports news was short and sweet. Have a great spring break, lads. I'm Dylan Ham. Back over to you, Elijah. Thanks, Dylan. Juniors and seniors, when we return from spring break, the prom will only be about three weeks away. The Blast From Your Past theme invites you to join us to rock out on April 22nd at the Doubletree Hotel. Tickets are currently $50 and you cannot buy them at the door. So be sure to stop by the business office to get your tickets now. The dinner starts at 6.30 p.m. and the dance goes to midnight. Be there or be square. Ladies, there are many free dresses available for prom in Becca's closet. Contact Ms. Molina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library to make your appointments to check them out. Glads, the entrepreneur class is getting ready for their recycle challenge and they need your help. This year, they are tasked to create a product made from plastic bottles. 
Please save your plastic bottles of all sizes and bring them to Lab 159. They thank you in advance. Congratulations to our freshmen who took the park test this week. They rocked it. Congratulations also to our ROTC cadets on their AMI inspection. That's all we have for today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great spring break. I'm Abby Ragsdale. And I'm Elijah Clark. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great spring break. See you in April.